wonder why it seems like I only pass on my bad traits to my children. I look at how flawed I am in the places where I fall short, and I see those same struggles replicated in my kids. I was kind of counting on them inheriting my good traits, and then letting those other qualities die with me. I am a reflection of my father, and my children are a reflection of me, whether I like it or not. But God's word calls us to be a reflection of Christ. In Psalm 85, 9, the psalmist states, Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. This illustrates the instrumental role evangelism plays in the purposes of the church. The purpose of salvation, according to the psalm, is so, quote, that his glory may dwell in our land, unquote. As great as the Great Commission is, it serves an even greater purpose in the role of the church, to recognize the glorious God who provides the salvation. Let me put this another way. The term evangelism has become unhinged from its original meaning. The word is based on a Greek term, euangelion, or the bringing of good news. But we have turned it into a technical term, which refers to guiding people from a condition of lost to a condition of saved. Now this is definitely a part of it, but this is not how the Bible presents the process. Paul states in Colossians chapter 1, He is the one we proclaim, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom, so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. To this end I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. Notice that the goal of Paul's proclamation runs much deeper than salvation. It aims at maturity, or as other translations present it, perfection or completeness in Christ. To this end I strenuously contend. This is as close to a mission statement as Paul will get. And this idea is also echoed in James chapter 1. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Our goal is so much deeper and more difficult than saving people. It is presenting them complete in Christ. When we are complete in Christ, we become a reflection of who God is, like our sons and daughters are a reflection of who we are. We communicate the glory of God the more we come to look like Him, and we promote the glory of God in our land. Now we should resist the temptation to equate the phrase, our land, with the political entity known as America. Jesus did not come to die for nation states. Countries do not go to heaven. Our land is better understood with the emphasis on our and not land. In other words, the place of the people of God. Therefore, our role as a church is not to bear the glory of God as mere individuals. It's not to bear the glory of God as a nation state but to bear this glory in the church, in the midst of the people of God. But God's glory needs still a larger stage.